Hello, Graham Roberts here. Welcome to tutorial number four in the series Developing Computer Games using Visual C Sharp.net. Well, this game is called Catcher and a basket is moved left to right by the player who's a child to catch the falling apple from an invisible but very tall tree and what we've got it to do so far is to go left according to key press and we need to make it go right also we have an issue with the constraints of the left hand side we need to talk a little bit about constraints because the constraints will be determined by the limits of the screen or the form or the stage since this is a game it's also an animation and we might call this area of the form the stage if we highlight the picture box we can see it has certain coordinates in fact the location is 316264 at the moment if I move it a little bit to the left we can see it goes down to 193265 so roughly about the same place in terms of a Y coordinate or the top of the picture box but a different value for the left hand side of the picture box if we go down here similarly and if we go right into the corner on the bottom left hand side we should find that the location is zero so the X coordinate if we may call it that of the picture box which is the left hand properties value of the picture box is zero when it's here when it's um, on the other side of the form what will it be then well there we are that's where we want it to stop not go further right than this position the left hand side or left value of the image inside the picture box is at 750 the y coordinate is as we've said the top goes down as we go up the form which is not intuitive at all so we get right to the top and it's actually well it will be zero when it's right at the top I uh, can't quite get there manually but um, you can see it's got a value of 2 there and in the the left hand corner of the form what do you think it will be there the coordinates yeah you've probably got that right it's 0 0 when it's there right in the left hand side where well, it would be if I could get it right to the top but it's difficult to do that manually it, it, program, programmatically it is possible so the coordinate to the top left hand side of the form is theoretically zero zero and as you go down the form the uh, top value for the picture box will increase we well, need to bear that in my mind for the apple picture box pb apple but let's get back to our basket we were looking at the right hand side of the form and asking the question what is the value for the picture box that we must not exceed when we're moving right well if the value of left is more than the right hand side of the containing form we will have a situation that it will stop going right when it's actually invisible not really what we wanted so clearly what we do want is to stop before that point so if at this point the location is 750 we could find the width of the basket what's the width well it turns out you can't see that in the properties but unless you click on the size so now we can see the width here is 152 and the height happens to be about 100 pixels so if we had added 152 to the left 
property, we would actually have this point here on the right hand side that we want it to stop at. So we'd have to add 152 to the position it's at, which is 750. And we get 902. So the right hand side of this picture box is actually 902 pixels relative to this form. When the left hand side plus the width of this picture box is more than that value of 902, we must not accept a command to move right. Let's put all of this into code. It turns out easier than um, it might have been thought. We don't have to do the calculations ourselves. We can get the computer to do these for us. But we'll come back to our code. If E key code is equal to keys left, PB basket left is increment uh, decremented by 5. But we do not want to decrement by 5 the position unless the left value is more than or equal to zero. Let's put that into code. If left is more than zero, then we can decrement by five. Now what do we do if key code is in fact the other key, that is the right hand key? In this case, we want to ask, check, that the left hand value of the picture box added to the width of the picture box, which gives us the right hand value of the picture box, is less than the active form's width. A little word about this. We can't just say form 1. We have to say the active form, because it may have well, never mind why, it's an object-oriented reason. But the width property here is sandwiched, as it were, between this word active form. You may have to remember this when you um, come to do heights and widths of forms for constraint checking. I've just added a little bit of commenting here. Well, here we have it. I'm going to press the left key and it's moving left and it should stop oh and it did stop there now I'm moving right well obviously you see that but I'm pressing the right arrow key and it stops more or less where we want it to do so we should have a little word here about the picking up of um, keys the arrow keys on a keyboard um, when they're pressed, they interrupt the operating system. They're literally called an interrupt. And that interrupt is looked for by our Visual C Sharp virtual machine or .NET framework, which is constantly hooked in and scanning the operating system's interrupts for particular triggers that we're interested in. And we say we're interested in those particular triggers when we, in our code, specify them as we did here and here. Now we can adjust the speed of our game in terms of moving left and right by this value here. The higher its value, the faster the basket will appear to move and the lower the value the slower of course the lowest value you can have is 1 or minus 1 because if you had 0 it won't move at all because this is an increment or a decrement so at this point I can go to the top of my uh, class and I can add a property 
um, which I'm going to say is public and I'm going to say speed um, and it's going to be the player speed so I put a put player speed I'll just underscore that there link it with underscore player speed is equal to 5 and I'm going to say that that value is an integer an int then I can put player speed into those values and I can adjust them called balancing a game later on if I need to by simply going to the top and trying different values in here to see what the speed would look like for example if I put 15 in here and run the program what would you expect? Here's the program. I'm just going to press key left and right. Well, what you can see, I hope, I don't know if the video might not show this too well, is a blurring of the basket. And this is because of, well, I won't get technical, it's all to do with it not having double buffering and so on. But basically, there is a, a speed which it will look more natural and smooth and many other speeds that won't and that's why we say balancing a game is a little bit like an art I've returned it to 5 and note I'm not putting a, a comment here an annotation because I think it's fairly obvious that it's player speed because it says it is however I might want to put um, something like larger the value faster um, but we can say uh, speed proportional to this value because that makes a statement that the bigger the value the faster the speed of the player now I I the next problem we have to solve is moving the apple or apples, but we come to that in a moment uh, in the next tutorial.